Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to easily install VMOS Android Virtual Machine onto your Quest 2. Um, this is pretty simple actually, you don't need any unlock codes, you don't have to go finding any crazy things off the internet. You simply use the APK Pure Installer to search for VMOS. first one that pops up is VMOS Pro and that's what we want. You install APK Pure installer through the SideQuest app which you can use either on your phone or on your PC. Uh, I usually use the PC version. This is what I've been using for forever. I find the phone version to be just a little bit awkward. Uh, um, there are lots of tutorials on getting your Quest 2 into developer mode and on using SideQuest to install apps, so I'm not going to show you how to do that today. We're simply going to start from APK Pure is installed, and now we have VMOS. One click authorizations, yes. Now, what I have found is that when I do the one click authorization, I get froze up. So, close out the app. So Go on over here, find my unknown sources, and open VMOS again. And click authorization. Yep, we're going to allow all that too. And now our ROM is installing. This takes a minute. It's just a basic ROM. It is, however, I believe Android 7, 64-bit. Oh, so we are rocking with VMOS Pro here. Now, a lot of guys have had difficulty with VMOS Pro on the Quest 2 because when it first uh, starts up, when it first launches your Android Virtual Machine, it launches sideways. We've got an easy fix for that. That's really simple. I'm going to show you how here in just a second. Eventually the ROM installs. It's pretty big. It's a full version of Android. And we're going to get Google Play services on this little guy. Woohoo, booting up the first. We're making progress, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, hey, it popped up in the normal way. That's interesting. Okay, so we're going to go through the little list, the tutorial, blah, blah, blah. Yes, yes, yes. Froze up on me here last time. I installed it too, so we'll close it. We'll open it back up. It's going to boot up again. This is the process I had to go through the first time I installed VMOS Pro onto my headset. So, everything I'm doing now, you're going to have to do on your headset as well. Oh, now we're sideways. All funky, right? That sucks. Let's click this little app icon right down there. That little ha ha ha! And we have gotten into the virtual machine settings. Want to add a resolution? Our resolution needs to be something like 720. Let's go with 960 by 1280 and a DP of 240 because I like my stuff to be a little bit small. We're going to save this 
restart now. It doesn't really restart on its own. So you open it up again. The virtual machine boots up. <sighs> Takes a little while, like an old phone. Or like Blue Stacks. This is very much like Blue Stacks. So now we have a pretty little normal looking lands a oh, port landscape no portrait portrait or phone form factor uh, screen here we're going to enable google play services complete that go on back go on back we got to close it out in order to get google play services Oh boy, it's a lot of rebooting in it. All right, this should be our last boot up before Google Play Services is, is installed. This one will take another minute because it's installing some other stuff in the background. So Winnie the Pooh is now copyright free, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna have to start posting Winnie the Pooh in VR. <sighs> ha ha ha! Here we are. Back in our screen. I think we can actually make this 1300 and it'll fill in those two gaps at the bottom and top. If we change the resolution to like 960 by 1300. And it's finishing the Android update. That would be Google Play Services right here. Here's our Google Play Store. Last of us to sign in. Of course. Just like your phone would. Perfect. We'll play services, so maybe we should just give it a minute and let it just do its thing. One more time here. There we go, that's the good old stuff. Sign. Hmm. There we go. I'm not gonna do this right now, but I can assure you guys you can sign in to Google Play Services just fine and dandy and download and install to your virtual machine just about any app you could want on the Android or Google Play Store. Alright, I hope everybody's enjoyed this video. Y'all have a great day.